Hi everyone, this is PhD Natural Me and welcome back to my channel. Those that are new, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you like what you see and if you like what you see, hit that bell and that subscribe button or the subscribe button and the bell and don't forget to like this video. Those that are already subscribed, thank you so much. I am 31 pounds lighter. I am saying this because I whizzed right by my 30 pounds lighter video quickly and I wanted to share three things. The benefits of the scale, the benefits that are not scale related and reaching a point where you've never been before. The benefits of the scale, oh my gosh, they're awesome. You see that weight go down. But I want to let you know, for me, and I know I'm not the only one, the scale did not go, whew. <laughs> for me, here was my starting point. It was my ending point where I'm at right now and I went oh 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 okay those oh, marks or points <laughs> those were weight gains and we tend to go oh I can't wait oh I hate myself well I'll do that I'm angry because I gain weight and it frustrates me but then I see my weight loss and I'm all excited. I'm so happy about life and everything else and I feel good. But in the overall scheme of things, I'm losing weight. I'm feeling great. And that's one of the non-benefit, one of the non-scale benefits. You feel great. You move around better. You get up and down out of chairs, hopefully, a little bit easier. And ladies, um, our bra sizes tend to drop. And our clothes. So that means we have to go shopping. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. For me, I'm happy with any weight loss, wherever it may be. But those are non-scale benefits. A friend of mine told me today, one of my um, co-workers, she said, I can't wait to get to Wonderland. And she's lost weight. And I'm so excited for everyone in the office. It's like we have a ketogenic office going on. And it's great. And there are some that are not doing keto. And they're doing great too. But she said, I can't wait to get to Wonderland. And I said, what is that? And she said, anything that's in the 100 pound range on the, on the scale. So 199.9 .9 is Wonderland. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I can't wait to get to Wonderland. Because I've never been this light in a very, very long time. I get scared. When I was in my PhD program, my dissertation phase, I'd reach a certain point and then I'd stop. I'd reach that point again, and then I'd stop. I don't know if I was afraid to succeed. I don't know if I was afraid I was going to fail. But I was afraid, and I froze. And even in this journey here, 31 pounds lighter is a huge accomplishment. And I thought, actually, when I hit 20 pounds, I don't know. Am I going to be able to lose more? Maybe I can't. And I did all these things. I was psychologically messing with my head, myself, and sabotaging myself. But I kept going. I kept my five-finger guidelines. I ate when I was hungry. I stopped when I was satisfied. I drank when I was thirsty. I ate no more than 20 total grams of carbohydrates 
a day and I broke up those carbohydrates to five to seven total carbohydrates in a meal and I'm at 31.1 pounds I, I I'm, I'm extremely excited about that and I just want to encourage you you may be at a point where you're thinking I'm not going to lose any more or oh, I've lost the water weight well now um, will I will I lose any more if you keep keep at it you will be successful sometimes it's on the scale and sometimes it's you if you get to a point where you're feeling like you can't do this you need to surround yourself with people who will encourage you I will be your cheerleader I encourage and I coach others and what I tell people is do not surround yourself with people who will discourage you if you want somebody to model find somebody that will encourage you there's a person that I watch every now and then on YouTube that the information they share is wonderful I done my own research and I know the information they're sharing is correct but the negativity that comes out when someone doesn't follow what this person says is harsh and you don't need that if you're just in the beginning starting to live a ketogenic lifestyle if you're in the mid phase if you're in maintenance if you are living a ketogenic lifestyle for a very long time you don't need that no one needs that surround yourself with people who will encourage you and lift you up so I want to tell you you can do this there is no reason why you can't you may have to start a little bit slower than other people when I started this lifestyle I went straight to 20 um, cutting my carbs down to 20 and I went through the keto flu like you wouldn't believe but I made it through and for some that may not be the case there's a person that I know they wanted to slowly decrease their carbohydrates and that's great too it doesn't matter just so long as you're taking steps to live a nice healthy lifestyle whatever that may be for me it's living a ketogenic lifestyle and I'm loving it I am absolutely loving it so I just want to tell you you can do this stay encouraged you can do this stay healthy keep eating keto bye